Good morning. Is my daughter up yet? Bright and early. Great, thank you. You know, we're gonna miss her around here. Miss her? Yeah, Emma's father and Dr. Martin are making arrangements to send her home right now. Well, it looks like Dr. Cato already cleared the little one, so I don't think I should stand in the way. What do you think, huh? Well, she did say that she's having a little trouble remembering some things, so... Mm -hmm. Well, with time and I think a familiar home environment, everything that's fuzzy, it'll all come back. Yeah. Promise. When we get you home, we're gonna take things nice and easy for a little while, okay? Maybe no school for a couple weeks and just... Stay at home, you, me, and all your favorite stuffed animals. Play lots of games, read lots of stories, all the stuff you like to do, okay? How's that sound, good? Will I be in trouble if I don't remember everything? I don't want you to worry about that at all. Okay, we don't have to talk about anything at all that you don't want to talk about. What's gonna happen is you're gonna remember everything when your brain decides it's time to, okay? Hey, Doc, mm -hmm. can we get the release in, uh, in the works? What do you say? I don't think that's a problem at all. Could I have a word with the little one? Is that all right, Pop? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I will be right outside. I love you so much. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> how you feeling? My head doesn't hurt anymore. Well, that's good. How are you feeling inside? So I just wanted to make sure that you feel good enough to go home. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you a story? This is a baby that I know, a little baby boy. His name is Trevor, who I love very much. And I miss him because I don't get to see him as much as I'd like to. And it drives me crazy. It drives me crazy because there's not much I can do about it. So I feel bad sometimes because I don't have anybody to talk to. That's funny. What? Well, I was just talking about it, and then I said something to you, so I was talking to you, and I, oh, all of a sudden I feel better. <laughs> right, you're a good listener. You are definitely, definitely a good listener. Thank you very, very much, very much. You're a good listener. Oh, and if I can ever return the favor someday, you just let me know, okay? It's hard when my mom and dad fight all the time. Well, what do they, uh, what do they fight about? Me. Uh, so, how excited are you about getting out of the hospital? Okay. Uh-oh. I sense something in that sweet little voice of yours. Are you scared? Or nervous? Or both? <laughs> what is it, Angel? Emma, is it being alone with Daddy? Are you scared you're not going to be able to keep your promise to say you don't remember what happened that night? Okay, sweetie. Well, don't you worry. I think I have just the solution. Hey, Ems, you ready to get out of here? Doctor says you're cleared for takeoff. I don't want to go home. Hey. Hey, what are, you, what are you talking about? You heard Dr. Jake, right? He said that you're doing great. You're ready to go home. You can... Finish up your healing in your own bed. I want to go to the big house with Mommy. 